Hi, I'm Christian. Today I'm going to talk about five watches that are very likely to appreciate significantly in value in 2021. I also touch on the most important details of each model. I also wanted to wish you a happy and healthy new year and a good start in 2021. But before we start, let's do a quick wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the Rolex GMT Master II 116710 BLNR, the so-called Batman. Let's waste no time and jump right in. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Probably recognize that quote. Those were astronauts Neil Armstrong's famous word when he became the first person to set foot on the moon in 1969. And horological history was made 19 minutes later, when fellow astronaut Buzz Aldrin set foot on the lunar surface, wearing an Omega Speedmaster on his wrist. The chronograph has since been known as the Moonwatch and has become the iconic timepiece from Omega, and rightly so. We have this reference with us today, the case size Hazelite crystal and the 1861 movement based on the famous Le Mania 1873 makes this model nearly identical to the original from the 1960s. It certainly exudes the spirit of time. The dial is likewise almost identical to the original Moonwatch. The biggest difference is that the original watch had a so-called step dial, which features a mini track around the edge, which is slightly lower. This gives this former dial more depth than the flat one shown here. If you'd like to find out more about this legendary watch, be sure to check out our in-depth review here. The watch was and still is a popular and highly coveted model, which has contributed to its steady appreciation. Its price has increased by over 20% in the past five years. I'm willing to predict that this trend will continue in 2021. Why is that? As some of you may already know, Omega discontinued production of this model in January, replacing it with a new model that differs from the original in several key aspects. These include a new caliber 3861 with a coaxial escapement and a completely new bracelet. The step dial, however, has made a reappearance. Be that as it may, if you're looking for a classic moonwatch powered by a manual lemania based movement, you can't go wrong with this reference. It is perfect for everyday wear and is still available for around 5000 US dollars. My second choice is another Omega and another Speedmaster. The Speedmaster Silver Snoopy Award from 2003. For those of you who don't already know, Omega has commemorated the dramatic events of the Apollo 13 mission with a number of Silver Snoopy Award models. In April 1970, the Apollo crew used the Speedmaster watch to help correct the course of the damaged spacecraft, ultimately saving their lives and earning Omega NASA Silver Snoopy Award. The Peanuts character therefore makes an appearance in all these limited edition models. The most eye-catching feature of this model is without a doubt Snoopy himself. The cartoon beagle can be found in a spacesuit on the 9 o'clock subdial. A larger version of the same image also features on the entire case back. Chrono 24's data speak for themselves here. In 2020, the price of this watch increased by 50%. Is this the beginning or the end of the watch popularity? I would argue that the price is unlikely to drastically jump like that again, but I do think that it will continue to rise. Reason being, it is limited to a run of 5,441 pieces. The current average price is around 19,000 US dollars. What the moon watch is to Omega, the Navitama is to Breitling. While this watch never made it to the moon, it is still one of the most legendary pilot's watches of all time. Its most distinctive feature is its slight wool bezel, which allows the wearer to calculate all sorts of things like speed, fuel consumption and the rates of climb or descent. Breitling first launched this model back in 1952. The reference 806 was produced from 1959 onwards and is a particularly popular version. This is a true vintage timepiece. Most copies feature the manual Venus 17.8 caliber, which was used by a number of manufacturers between the 1940s and the mid-1960s. The 806 performance in 2020 was very good and there is every reason to believe it will continue in 2021. Vintage examples in very good condition are becoming increasingly rare. They certainly don't change hands as often as they did a few years ago. Good deals are becoming harder to find and people are willing to spend a bit more. All of these factors have led to a price jump of around 40%, bringing the watch's average price to 8,000 US dollars in Chrono 24. Any list of watches that are likely to increase in value must include the Rolex at Mariner. While nearly all stainless steel sports models are enjoying steady appreciation, the 10-year-old reference 116610LV has especially increased in value recently. 
I'm pretty sure that this trend will continue in 2021. This reference was nicknamed the Hulk by Rolex fans due to its stunning green sunburst maxi dial and green serochrome bezel. Rolex in-house caliber 3135 was first introduced in 1988. It powers the watch and features a parachrome hairspray. One good reason to expect this reference will appreciate further in value is that Rolex discontinued production of it at the end of 2020. This will undoubtedly give an additional boost to demand. In 2020, the Hulk appreciated by some 24% to an average price of 22,000 US dollars. If you're a fan of this green and hyper-masculine superhero, this may be the good piece for you to invest in. Richard Mill is a major player in the high-end luxury watch sector. The Swiss watch brand relies on the most innovative modern materials and produces all of the movements in-house. The resulting watches are extremely robust and feature famously futuristic designs. In recent years, Richard Mill has enjoyed a real boost in popularity, fueled in large by a number of prominent athletes. Longtime brand ambassador Rafael Nadal owns numerous Richard Mill models and has even worn them during his tennis matches. American football player Odell Beckham Jr. likewise drew significant media attention when he wore a Richard Mill RM1103 McLaren worth some around 300,000 US dollars during a game for the Cleveland Browns in 2019. One week later, Beckham Jr. was seen on the field wearing yet another Richard Mill watch. This one was worth around 2 million US dollars. The shock and awe of this has driven prices up significantly, particularly for the RM1103 McLaren. This timepiece will delight watch and racing fans alike. The watch's color scheme and materials are inspired by designs from British sports car manufacturer McLaren. The case is made of black carbon and orange quartz. The bezel features a titanium McLaren logo, which is reminiscent of the sports car's air intake. The crown is likewise made of titanium and shaped after a McLaren wheel rim. The push pieces in turn are modeled after the striking design of the McLaren 720S headlights. The highlight of this watch, however, is the in-house skeletonized flyback RMAC3 caliber. You can read the hours, minutes and stop seconds in the center of the dial. A countdown subdial is located at 9, a running seconds at 3 and a 12-hour counter at 6 o'clock. Like all the models in the RM11 collection, this watch is equipped with a tachymeter scale, an outsized date below 12 and a month's display at 4.30. Prices for this model have risen by more than 40,000 US dollars over the past six months to around 355,000 US dollars. I'll go out on a limb and predict that this will only continue to rise in 2021. In short, there are definitely a handful of watches out there that have the potential to seriously increase in value in 2021. The five models I picked are just a few that seems worth mentioning. Perhaps one of these also appeals to you, ideally one that is well within your budget. What are your thoughts? Which one would you pick? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your watches. Bye bye.